the show, The Tonight Show, and right here, I'm proud to say, on Comic Strip Live, ladies and gentlemen, warm welcome, please, for George Miller. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. How are you doing? Good? Have you been asked that before? Where are you all from? I am too, that's great. <laughs> so we're at the Laugh Factory and some people are having drinks and stuff and now they found out that alcoholism is inherited. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I think that is too, I'm not sure, I don't know. <laughs> Sound effects with my act, I never did this. <laughs> alcoholism, I never lose my place, alcoholism. <laughs> is inherited. What does that mean? The old man will always have somebody to drink with? I don't know. It's, that's, I don't know. They got all those drug and rehab center advertisements. Is that one? And they show this couple. And the guy says, would you believe that drugs and alcohol were more important to me than my wife? Yes, because we're looking at your wife. <laughs> Too much drinking will foul you up. A few years ago, I had a good show business job. I was the MC for Seals and Crofts. Remember them? After one show, Seals and Crofts fired me because I got drunk. Introduced them as arts and crafts. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I do not drink. I smoke a lot. I think smoking is healthy because it makes me cough, and that's the only exercise I get. <laughs> I've been trying to do better. I get up every day. I turn on the TV and do that 20-minute workout, followed by the 40-minute buffet and the 10-hour nap. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I've been real depressed the last few days. I read this article that said your car reflects your personality. I don't have a car. <laughs> I had a lot of regular jobs. And honestly, when I worked nine to five, I was a conscientious employee. I used to call in sick to places I didn't even work. <laughs> I can't make it today. You don't even work here. <laughs> what the hell with you then? I'm not coming in. <laughs> then I sold hearing aids door to door. That's a tough job because your best prospects never answer. Thank you so much. I was a cop for a while. I was on the LAPD. I got fired. There was a guy way up on top of a tall building threatening suicide, so I shot him. <laughs> it was a judgment call. I thought a tough job would be a priest on death row. You got to give encouragement to somebody who's going to the electric chair. It's Teflon. You won't stick to the seat. <laughs> I'm sorry, we've offended some people who have relatives on death row. I'm very sorry about that. So I see a big headline, Dan Quayle changes mind about Soviet Union. He no longer thinks it's in France. <laughs> like the stories in those tabloids, doctor's mistake turns man into a woman. Thinking, what did that doctor say when he first realized that mistake? Oh no, ain't this a bitch? <laughs> And a group of cannibals is suing McDonald's. They said McDonald's stole their slogan, food, folks, and fun. <laughs> Did you read about the, the couple? They lost the $10 million in the McDonald's contest because their daughter was an employee. What a double whammy. They lose the $10 million plus the embarrassment of having everybody know they got a relative working at McDonald's. <laughs> So I have this blind date and we go out to this restaurant. We'll talk about food now and, uh, oh, this fancy restaurant, but the slowest service in the history of the world. People were complaining, anorexics were starting to get hungry. It was not a good thing. <laughs> I felt important, 38 waiters for one table. They specialized these fancy places. They really specialized. The butter waiter came over and gave us some butter. The coffee waiter came over and gave us some coffee. The water waiter came over and gave us some water. The head waiter came over. They really specialized. <laughs> this restaurant. <laughs> I 
So after dinner, my date starts whining. Let's do something different. I want to do something different tonight. So I took her down to Tattoos Against Your Will down on... Uh... <laughs> and who did we run into down there but Vidal Sassoon. I couldn't believe it. I went up to him. I said, Mr. Sassoon, I'm kind of worried because I know if you don't look good, I don't look good. And you don't look good. <laughs> Hey, I really enjoyed talking to you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. <laughs>